Great. Welcome. It's Monday, October 19th, 2020. We are working on social studies. Let's go to our social studies agenda. We are going to review our Google Meets etiquette, review our class norms, our mission statements, our learning objective, and then we will work on Chapter 1, Lesson 2, Texas Resources Vocabulary. Guys, there is not an assignment in Canvas yet, yet. There will be one where you are going to upload a copy of your vocabulary into it, okay? Um, you are going to have to give me a minute to get all that open. Our etiquette is you must show up on time. Um, make sure you're in a quiet workspace. Make sure you have all your supplies. You are going to need something to write with and paper. Oh, I guess it's in here. All right, hang on. Um, you mute your microphone, video on. We do not just unmute unless, like, sometimes you're like, Miss, we can't hear you. Then that's okay. But don't just unmute and tell me your technical issues. Guys, I'm going to make it very clear to you. I can no longer help with your technical issues because my answer is going to be the same thing every time. Make sure you're logged into your Gmail account. Make sure you're logged into your Gmail account. That's the only answer I have on my end. Other than that, and you're logging into your class links and your district-provided Gmail account are two different things. I want to make that clear, too. I think maybe there's a misunderstanding that when you're loading the computer and it says to log into your class links, that's not logging into your Gmail. That's separate. So you do want to make sure that you open up a new tab, click on your nine, your, your nine, nine square waffle thingy, and make sure that you are logged into your Gmail account, not a, not a personal Gmail account. Just like on Friday when I wasn't able to get, um, when I wasn't able to get into um, the meeting first thing Friday morning, it was because I was not logged in to my school Gmail account. Remember I told you I was logged into my personal Gmail account, right? All right, so please do not unmute to tell me about your technical difficulties. I don't have answers. As much as I wish that I did, I don't. And we don't need to be discussing those when we are short on time already. You need to raise your hand or use the nod button if you need help. Please make sure that it is on topic. Um, I, I know that you guys have some stories that you want to share with me. If you want to share your stories that bad, you can easily record yourself and shoot me a message. I will watch them. Um, unmute your microphone to talk and leave at the end of the meeting. Our classroom norms is to be kind, be respectful, and be working. This is very important. Um, being kind and being respectful means that you're respecting the time that we have together, that you are working, okay? We have to be working. Trying to find an easy... Um, our mission statement, um, guys, this morning, some of you were not, uh, were not saying the mission statement. I know this because your mouth was not moving. So please make sure your mouth is moving and you are repeating after me. We will work together as friends and family. In Mrs. Met's class, to gain more knowledge, to work, and to learn. So we can all be successful. 
We will listen to each other, help each other, and encourage each other. We will make things happen and show the world we will not accept anything short of the best. Thank you guys so much for fully participating. It really means a lot when you are all in and taking it serious. Our class goal is 100% of Mrs. Met students will show growth on units assessments through the 2020-2021 school year. They will accomplish this goal by being purposeful and intentional with their time and learning. Today's learning objective is we are going to define Texas resources and how it affects the lives of Texas. So we're going to be looking at the definitions inside of Chapter 1, Lesson 2. So um, let me get this closed. Get my projector thingy going. And then take a look at how many words we are going to have. I really don't know if this works any better. It really doesn't. Maybe. We're about to find out. We're about to see what that does. That might make a difference. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see what this does. That might. All right. So we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven vocabulary words that we are going to be writing down today. Let me make sure that's it. Yes, seven vocabulary words. So y'all know me and my paper. I grab my sheet of paper. You're going to need your sheet of paper. I'll give you a minute to grab some paper. While y'all are doing that, I'm going to see if, um, I am going to title this one, Texas Resources. It is chapter one, lesson two, chapter one, lesson two. I am going to fold it in half. Um, I wonder, let's see how many lines I have. Let's see. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. 26 divided by 7 is going to be, what, four lines a piece? 26 divided by 7. Yeah, we'll do maybe 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is going to be 1. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. I will zoom out so y'all can see this. But what I'm doing is I'm making sure that I have four lines between each one. I get water on my desk. Two, three, four. My last one may not have four. One, two, three, four. No. And then, of course, my line down my middle, just because that just makes me happy. While you guys are setting this up, I'm going to go ahead and get the assignment set up on Canvas so that you have a place to turn in your proof that you are working.
Give me just a second. All right. First word that we are going to be writing is somewhere. There it is. Natural resources. Texas is natural resources. So natural resources. Natural resources is anything found in nature that is useful to people. So it's anything found in nature useful to people. And honestly, that could be just about anything from wood to water to, to, I don't know, cotton, corn. There's so many things out in nature that are useful to us. I will give you a minute to write that. All right, the next one is renewable resources. So we're gonna write renewable resources. Renewable resources. are things, items, that can be restored naturally over time. Items that can be restored naturally over time.
The third one we are going to write is non-renewable resources. If renewable resources are restored naturally, what do we think non-renewable resources is? Tamari. Yeah, they can't be restored. They cannot be restored. There is a limited supply. Once it's gone, it's gone, right? It cannot be restored naturally. Once it's gone, it's gone. All right, the next one is, what do we got? A reservoir, a reservoir, that's a really hard word to say, reservoir, reservoir. Some people, some people say reservoir. A reservoir is a natural or artificial lake used to reserve or store water. So a reservoir is a natural, I'm going to have to write small, or artificial lake used to reserve and store water. A reservoir is a natural or artificial lake used to reserve water. See who's in our meeting this afternoon. I'm going to start keeping attendance of people in the meeting in the afternoon because there's a lot of people that don't come back. We have only 15 of you. <laughs> there's Alia, Andrea, Jessalyn. Jordan, Khadija, Kamani, Lee, forgot I was recording, so I'm going to stop saying your names.
okay. All right. The next word is drought. Drought is a period of time with little rain. It's a period of time with little rain. Oh, y'all can't see that. Sorry about that, guys. Drought is a period of time with little rain. I apologize. All right, next one is conserve. You want to conserve. When we conserve, we limit use. You limit use of resources. We limit use of resources. When we conserve, we limit use of resources. And then the last one is pollution. Which is no fun. Pollution is chemicals. And other harmful I'm going to have to cram this in. I'm going to run out of space. Stuff that can damage water, air, or land. So chemicals... So pollution, conserve means you limit your resources. Pollution, or limit resource use. Pollution is chemical and other harmful stuff that can damage water, air, or land. And they used a bigger technical term for stuff. I just like the word stuff better. When you are done with this, 
you can go into, I just posted the assignment. You can go into the assignment, snap a picture, and you are done, my friends. Done. Make sure you snap a picture and submit it, guys. Snap a picture and submit it. Let me zoom out so that we can see all of it. Give me just a second. I didn't want y'all to see my stack of trash, but oh well. My science lab stuff. All right. Somebody had a question. Give me just a minute to stop this. <laughs> 